Breaking, breaking, an exclusive video is floating around about P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs. Now let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to the mix. Like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, per usual. For those who are new to my channel, I need for you guys to smash that subscription button, yes, and hit the notification bell for everyone. That's way you will be in tune with all the content I drop on my channel, yes. Most importantly, I need for you guys to listen to this video. Trust me, I won't keep you all long. Listen to this video from beginning to end. Drop some comments in the comment section. Let's get the engagement up, you guys, but keep it respectful and peaceful. I have polls going on and in the community section so head on over there and vote 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 also if you are interested in donating yes you can go ahead and hit that cash up right here boom, 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 boom. cash out cash out cash out uh, all donations go toward content enhancement creation more donation opportunities it's in the description section of this post for those who do not know this is a multifaceted channel the mix um, I discuss a variety of topics a little bit of this a little bit of that head on over to the about section and familiarize yourself with this channel and also check out some of my videos video section some of my shorts again it's a variety of topics multifaceted channel but let me jump right into the topic as you can see what this video is going to be about yes former rapper shine now politician he's um to my understanding he's a politician of belize former rapper shine used to be a part of bad boy records this is a throwback thursday photo of p diddy and shine looks like probably at an award show but you guys diddy has been trending for the past oh my gosh things like almost six months now since cassie dropped that um lawsuit against him and it was a record settlement within 24 hours i don't think that was ever done in the history of settlements <laughs> <laughs> quote unquote you know from uh, a legal perspective i think that was a record-breaking settlement within a 24 hours it was settled you know but it painted a picture it opened up a can of worms it opened up the floodgates so diddy has been in the news every other week I, it's hard to keep up with but back to shine of course shine was a rapper on bad boy records and i'm probably going to be telling my age but this is in connection with this clip i'm about to show you guys so stay tuned or jump to the clip if you want to right now but for those who were born after 1999 i'm gonna keep it cute you guys may need to you know sit this one out because you guys do not know what happened back then and like i said i might be telling my age because i come from that tupac era um in terms of hip-hop music dmx you know uh, ice cube nwa queen latifah uh, boogie down production flavor flay chuck d I come from that era, you guys, uh, MC Light, all of that. So I've seen the evolution of hip hop, you know, um, Russell Simmons with Def Jam and all of that, Def Comedy Jam and et cetera, et cetera. So, um, but yeah, so those who were born, <laughs> little tink tinks, y'all, y'all don't know. And I would say this much, my era, if we knew social media would exist like it is now and technology would have, you know, transcended into this, a lot of stuff back then probably would have been burnt burn destroy <laughs> you know not for me not for me i'm just speaking i'm just you know speaking in general so but yeah so with that being said um yeah it's been alleged back in the um, urban quote-unquote streets back then that shine allegedly took the charge for p diddy when that pow pow happened at that nightclub when diddy was with jennifer lopez you guys can google this hopefully they did not scrape the internet because a lot of people from old school and a lot of magazine print back then existed and you know hey voila is they're tur turning it into digital um articles and digital photos and things of that nature from you know the hard drives or whatever or the floppy disk from back then so but yeah so it was alleged back then that that took place and it is i, I used to get print magazines like the source the vibe um, essence magazines uh, back then you know that was a lot of print magazines but i'm just say this much back then melanated people did not have a lot of entertainment opportunity in terms of interviewing and all of that so in the 90s in the 80s and stuff like that so um what you're hearing now is is pretty much recycled stuff and recycle when i say recycle stuff meaning in this instance things that took place in a negative manner in a hip-hop community or music community and music industry is coming to the forefront even in non-melanated communities <laughs> you know so um you see these cases are coming up against a lot of um, non-melanated celebrities too you know so so with that being said you guys it's not new to me because i've heard it before in the streets in the urban streets <laughs> like i said we didn't have a lot of opportunities um, in terms of interviewing or platforms from MTV and all of that, it wasn't like 
melanated people were uh, promoted on these gr on the grandstand of things melanated people wasn't even really invited to the grammys back then so yeah let me go ahead and share this clip with you guys and like i said shine is now a politician he did do his time um in a nutshell this lady who i'm this young lady who i'm about to share this clip about she speaks to this and everything in a clip is alleged 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 and but hey like i said we've heard, i've heard it before back in the day <laughs> back in the day i've <laughs> Like this video, share this video, you guys. Thank you guys for um, tuning in and drop some comments and I'll talk to you guys soon. How are you doing? So, hmm, here today about this latest lawsuit with the P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puffy, Sean Puffy Combs, whatever you want to call them. Lawsuit that has come out involving the producer Little Rod. So basically his last two lawsuits or last two major lawsuits, um, the one with Cassie, she made mention that Puffy made her carry his guns into nightclubs and wherever they went. And he threatened her to make her feel like she had to do so. And of while there were lots of things of importance, that stood out to me. And I'm going to tell you why. In this lawsuit with the producer Little Rod, they were both essayed by him and threatened and physically harmed. But in this lawsuit, allegedly, he allegedly a very young producer to me. But he said something very specific. As a means of threatening him, Puffy said, that's why I shot up the club in New York back in Allegedly. 1999 and let Shine Allegedly. take the fall for it. Let me tell you why that's of utmost importance to me. Because I am the woman who he shot in the face. Daddy Puffy has not been convicted of a in that 1999 so December 27 1999 Club New York shooting I have told everyone ad nauseum since then even the surgeon who Natalia did the surgery Rubin is her name the those were born before the year 2000 do you all remember me, this nine millimeter how I remember this call the cop killer I literally have told everyone and never changed what I said. I watched him. I got pow pow in the face. I watched him fire the gun. I've said it all this time. Even the surgeon who did my surgery to take out part of the bullet fragments that was aspirating into my lungs and try to remove as many bullet fragments as possible testified in the criminal trial that while they were putting me under, I was screaming, Puffy, pew pew me in the face. He testified in the criminal trial. It is in the record. They all knew he did it. Everybody knew he did it. But he paid off the club bouncer named Sharice and all these other people and the club owners with their video to hide the video. That's his M.O. I told everybody that. This man almost took my life, has traumatized my life, Natalia has Williams caused Herbert undue harm, irreparable damage to victim. my life. Natalia Live is behind is off. Victim. I've had all these youngins on the internet harassing me, swearing that I'm making it up that he did it. And look what he did to Little Rod. He threatened him. Oh, you don't Allegedly. think I bust my gun? I shot up the club in Club New York and let Shine take the fall for it. I shot them people. Well, well, well. It only took 24, 24 whole years for it to come out. You see this tattoo? This commemorates me getting shot. It took 24 years for him to come out and say it. I've been saying it all along, but y'all pick and choose who y'all want to believe. Allegedly. Oh, baby. You ain't seen Allegedly. nothing yet. Not only did he pew, 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 pew me in the face, he also set off a course of harassment against me for the past 24 years. When I tell you the things I went through, there was a time in... 2017 and 2018 where I got seven flats on my BMW seven the same tire in a two-year span seven on the same tire and they were all new every time it happened I had to get a new tire I have the pictures to prove it harassing me you want to know why because prior to Cassie I was the only person to be victimized by him and then to successfully sue him and get paid And he had to pay me out of his pocket. Proof of settlement, he has according never to New York Post. Over that. Oh, baby. You see this RICO charge that's about to come? 
this conspiring and pew pew up the club and ruining or attempting to ruin my life. As God is my witness, I will not stop until you suffer every single iota of punishment until I have every second of recompense that you took for me. For every tear that I had to cry or my children had to cry, I am going to get a million back from you. I will not stop until you pay the price for what you did to my life. And for all you people out there on the internet and in cyberspace and in the far reaches of my life or the perimeters or wherever, who always like, how oh, she just saying that to get some hell? What you got to say now? What you got to say now? I had some youngins on the internet that ain't even old enough, that weren't even alive when it happened, arguing me down, cussing me out, calling me everything but a child of God. Go check Instagram, it's there. Harassing my life. Harassing me. Oh, you lying, he ain't do that to you. You just want clout, you just chasing clout. What is that to chase clout about? How is that clout chase worthy? It doesn't even make sense. Well, I guess it would make sense in this new generation, but you better believe I will have my say. I will have my say. Hashtag having my say. Hashtag the dopest nerd ever. Hashtag ebb talks. Y'all ain't seen or heard nothing yet. I've had my say. The best and the rest is yet to come.